reason I'm back today is because I was listening to radio as I'm driving down the road, and they had uh, the candidates for the Virginia Attorney General speaking and doing an interview. Now, the interviewer, to her credit, was being incredibly neutral in this. Uh, she wasn't taking sides, wasn't really asking too many follow-up questions. She wasn't going after either of the candidates on their answers. However, I'm not her. So I am going to speak about at least one of the candidates and their answers. Specifically. A radio show here called Hearsay with Kathy Lewis comes on the local NPR station. She's been speaking this week with people running for office in the state of Virginia. Elections are coming up in November. Today she's speaking to the candidates for Attorney General. Now, I'm only going to speak about one of the candidates because of something he said that, well, it really jumped out at me. The person in question is Senator Mark Obenshain. In his position, he was asked about homosexual marriage in the state of Virginia. And the reason he was asked about this is there are some people who are basically threatening to file a lawsuit based on the fact that they're not allowed to get married in the state of Virginia. Now, the senator referenced the fact that in 2005, 2006, you know, probably off here, but I'm going to let him speak for himself, Virginia passed a state constitutional amendment that limited, to, limited marriage to relationships between a man and a woman. They basically outlawed all same-sex type relationships. They're being sued for this. Now, the senator voted for this amendment. That's all fine and good. Whatever. That was his vote. Not going to get into that. What I'm going to talk about today is his position on what he thinks his role as the Attorney General is. So, without further ado, I'm going to let him address that. The job of the Attorney General to stand up and defend uh, laws and constitutional provisions without regard to whether they may have a policy difference on that. Now, the other thing that came up was he was asked as to what he thinks the proper course of action is in this type of event. And he described what people should do if there's a law they disagree with. In fact, I will let him say it here. So here's what he has to say. With respect to the uh, marriage amendment, both my opponent and I voted for the marriage amendment. And uh, I will, uh, uh, if elected attorney general, you uh, referenced uh, an effort. Uh, I guess somebody has indicated an intention to introduce a bill to yes. uh, repeal the marriage amendment, which is the right way to go about that. If you believe that uh, the marriage amendment is misguided, we have a very clear process for repeal. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, to date, nobody has uh, done that. Uh, nobody has pursued that course. Uh, but there's also been an announcement of a plan by the uh, ACLU to file suit to have that uh, marriage amendment unilaterally thrown out, which in my view is not the proper way to go through this. So to briefly recap, his position is, as the Attorney General, he thinks it's his job to stand up for and enforce laws and support laws and defend laws if they're challenged from his state. The problem I have with this is he recently did an interview, and I mean recently, not a year ago, not two years ago, less than 60 days ago. He did an interview with a Jennifer Rubin from the Washington Post. She has a blog there. I'm going to put a quick little insert here of what he told her he thought should have happened with as an attorney general when it came to challenging a federal law. So to briefly recap, his position is, as the Attorney General, he absolutely would have challenged the federal law that he feels infringes on Virginia's rights, even though there is a legislative process by which he could have had that law attempted to be repealed. It goes on, I think they're on their 40th vote to defund it. But, if you're an individual and you think your rights are being infringed, no, you shouldn't avail yourself of the courts like he would for a state. You just should wait. Of course, he's ignoring the fact that Virginia has a nice history when it comes to things like this. That the reason people go to the courts is that there are times when they feel their rights won't be respected by the majority. And the senator should know about this. So it's kind of a famous incident that happened. It's called Loving versus Virginia, where 
some individuals felt that their rights weren't going to be respected. In fact, they went to court because the state of Virginia was imposing on minorities a viewpoint of the majority, which was infringing on their rights. I would think an attorney would have heard about this. But, without getting too much into that, without going down that rabbit trail, my main point here, Senator Mark Obenshane is a hypocrite. He wants one standard for him when he likes something, another standard for everyone else. Virginia deserves better than that. We elect leaders, or hopefully we're electing leaders, and not just people who march in lockstep. So, for that reason alone, I wouldn't vote for him. Talk a little bit. Blah, 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 blah.